Hi, this is Tal. I'm showing you how to mix 100 gram henna. You guys have been emailing me, so the easiest way is to make a video. Um, I like using a glass container because if it's plastic, it may stain. Um, very simple ingredients. We're gonna use one and a quarter cup of lemon juice. So because I have a measuring cup, I start with the lemon juice. It just makes things a little easier. And this is just this, the cheap preserved lemon juice. One and a quarter. Look at that. Exactly that, but not in the measure. And then two tablespoons of kajaput oil. That's when things start smelling nice. So one. And two. You could add sugar if you're in a dry area. It will make the henna a little more elastic. Um, we're pretty humid here this week, so I'm gonna refrain from using sugar in my recipe. But if it is humid, one tablespoon is where I would start and kind of see how it reacts before adding more. So one full pack of 100 gram henna would go right into this lemon juice. And these are double lined, so when you open a packet, you will find another packet inside. So, cut it right underneath the shrink wrap, uh, heat shrink here, and then as you're opening it, you wanna kinda squish it together so it's not molded in the shape of the bag. <laughs> and then just pour it all in there. Now, I have a henna whisk, but it's not going to ruin any kind of kitchen utensil you may have if it's stainless steel, so you can use any um, any kind of whisk to mix it, mix it, as long as it's not plastic again, otherwise it will stain. So, and mix, mix, mix. Alright, just mix really good and get all those uh, little crumbs out and make sure just that the fluid basically catches all the powder. It's nice to have a glass container because then you can look at the bottom and make sure you picked up everything. You can see the consistency is kind of gross right now. Um, it's kind of slimy and it's gonna get even more. So the surprising part is once it sits for a while, it's gonna change texture on you and gonna get a little smoother, less lumpy and more gooey. So even more stretchy when you pull through. That's totally normal. That's what makes the henna cool and elastic. So you want to just try and do your best to get rid of the lumps. And I sometimes let it sit for an hour and then I come and stir it really good one more time. So what I like to do is keep it in a warm place. So by your oven or in a place if, to, you know, if on the kitchen counter it's normally warm because you're cooking, that's where it should go um, just to... Um, help it dye release. Henna loves warmth, it helps the dye release. So, just a few kind of bangs aside, and you can see if you can kind of get it off the edges. At this point, the henna is not gonna stain you, so if you have to get your fingers in there, no big deal, okay? Just gonna get it all in there. It's a little messy, but um, let me just get it out. But you'll see that one bag of 100 gram makes a lot of henna. And this is henna that's already dye released right here. This is the cone that I transfer the henna after it releases too. It's one of those um, cake decorator cones. And it's really nice to fill your own personal cones from a big bag like this because it makes the filling a lot easier. So this henna needs to sit now for at least six hours. So I cover it with a plastic bag or saran wrap and you want it to touch all the way down to your paste and then you want to put a napkin down on or a paper towel when the dye release you will see the color of the um, napkin changes even though you have a saran wrap on it so maybe a thinner plastic than this saran wrap works best that's what i normally use i just didn't have it here at the office so i'm using this bag and a paper, and you could put something that weighs it, weigh in on it, so like an orange or an apple or something a little heavy like another glass, just so it's in, in contact with the paste to avoid oxygen from coming in. So this is it, that's, that's gonna sit for a while before it becomes henna. 
And then you can cone it or bottle it if that's your thing. Thank you.